Here's the default um, Hassler 120, uh, DH120 circuit. This is the PC25B board. Um, got two MOSFETs, the same ones used in the 220 and other ones here. Um, 2SJ49 and 2SK134. Uh, tensiometers for balance and bias and transistors and caps. Old stuff here and a resistor, as you could see, it ran pretty hot. I clipped it off. I just don't want it on there anymore. It's needed, so <laughs> the board obviously isn't being used right now. Let's have a look at um, a modded board. I finished up modding it today. It's pretty colorful. Higher quality uh, Dayton Audio film caps to replace these. Um, a 220 PF cap was replaced with a 0.1 cap. Um, replacing the, polar the polarized 100 microfarad 25 volt electrolytic with a 1000 microfarad 25 volt electrolytic bipolar non polarized. Um, will supposedly improve base response. Here's a new replacement for that yellow cap. Here's some regular Nijikan audio grade. I was going to use Elnosomic, but I didn't really feel like placing another order. And uh, as you can see, there's 330 microfarad, 63 volts. These originally are just 100 microfarad, 50 volt caps. Uh, you can see there are some film caps and two micas. Uh, we replace both um, those micas, add some micas, and take some away. Also use higher quality WIMA WIMA uh, film caps. They're incredible in audio circuits. Some resistor changes as well. You can see the balance pod has been replaced. It actually is used as a rheostat, the way it's wired. Newer balance thing, it's, you can see right there. Um, new film caps. I used glue to secure some of the components as well. Obviously I soldered, but um, the glue just keeps them from moving around in vibration and just better. Safe, I should say. Especially on things like this and this. Anyway, the 5100 ohm uh, resistor was a 2 watt and it got so hot as you can see the burn mark on the circuit board. So I updated it to a 5 watt of the same value. And I'm doing it like this. I, I don't think it'll get hot, but this allows you to... The reason it's bent like that is so you can stick your shaft to the screwdriver down there without touching anything. Um, I believe this is C10 that I bypassed down here with this 1000 PF cap. That's also uh, what the Musical Concepts mod manual says to do. Then also 0.1 microfarad cap in parallel with another 1000 PF cap to bypass Q8, the emitter and collector um, of Q8, which is a PN uh, quadruple 2A um, that supposedly removes junk. All transistors have been replaced, all diodes have been replaced. Q1 and Q2, as you can see there, have a painted top. That's because I matched them and I want them to be identified. I have a bunch of them actually that I matched. Um, these Zener diodes, and then there's one hiding under the inductor, and then one right there. Those um, have been upped slightly. I think 1N5242 instead of 1N5240. Um, that increases the drive capability of the MOSFET. Also, those two resistors, um, there and there, these two blue ones were replaced. They didn't need to be, but I decided to do it. I like replacing things just in case, get some new usage. These I replace with metal film. That's what you're supposed to do. So overall and all, it looks kind of cool uh, <laughs> compared to this. Um, obviously, the sound is what I care about. I have new MOSFET sockets for these. These are quite old. They probably don't need to be replaced, but I'm going to up the t uh, 18 or 22 gauge wire to 12 gauge because that's kind of a good idea. These are 0.1 microfarad caps and they will be replaced with these. Uh, so 
And the power supply has been rebuilt and the filter caps are being bypassed with 2.2 microfarad uh, capacitors. So I will keep you posted on this whole project. Um, I actually think it looks pretty cool. Big green cap and yellow caps and pink caps. Okay, no, red caps, not pink. Um, and transistors, diodes, resistors, stuff. Um, so, I will keep you posted. I'm going to have to drill these holes a bit bigger to accept 12 gauge wire. The input wiring is not going to change in terms of thickness of wiring. It's kind of moot. Uh, the skinnier wire does quite well. Uh, JCI one, I'm guessing that's the initial designer. Um, so there you go. I will keep you posted.